What's up everybody, this is Kerry. In this video, we're going to explore four well-known trends for week one of the NFL. To do this, we will use Python and a data set that spans the 2015 to 2022 seasons. Why 2015? Because this is the year that the NFL moved the extra point attempt back to the 15 yard line. This resulted in fewer extra point attempts being made. With modern analytics, teams were going for the two point conversion more often as well. These two factors together resulted in a minor but significant shift in the number of points an NFL team scored in a game. Now before we get started, let me mention a couple of disclaimers. Make sure that you are old enough to bet on sports in your area. Secondly, if you are a student athlete in NCAA school, don't do it. You might forfeit your eligibility in doing so. Let's look at the trends. Here are the trends that we're going to explore. They're all underdogs. This is a very popular trend that many seasoned sports bettors are aware of. This is actually something that we look at for the whole month of September, but we're just going to look at week one for now. Second one, underdogs getting at least six and a half points or more. Do they cover the spread? The third one is, how well do divisional underdogs cover the spread? Very well. And the last trend is, do underdogs who have won four to six games the previous season cover the spread? Now I have to say that all of these trends I got from other sources and I'll cite those in my code. Here is our code. As always, we're going to import the libraries. This time we're going to include matplotlib. Now this particular data set is a data set that I've crafted from various sources, not just one source. If anyone is interested in where to get this data, I'd be happy to share that in the comments below. I'm also going to show you the info on this data set. And you can see we have things like the date, the season, the week, the team, the opponent, whether or not they're a divisional opponent or not, that's a one or a zero, whether they won or not, the points that they scored, the points that their opponent scored are, are the defensive points, then of course the Vegas spread, the total points, and so on. This list I'm creating to keep track of what happens during each of the seasons from 2015 to 2022. The next cell shows a function that I created to take a trend as a query string that indicates a particular trend like underdogs that are getting at least six and a half points. The result is gonna take from that trend all of the teams that say, for example, cover the spread. Now we're going to do this and look at the overall trend, how well it did over across all the seasons. That's the first step. Then we're gonna look at all the seasons and find out how many teams in this trend produce the same result, cover the spread. We'll do a season average. We're gonna do a threshold that's a typical 52.38% that we wanna make sure we go above in order to be profitable in our bets. And then finally, look at all the weeks. We're gonna look at the week trends. Now for us, it's just gonna be week one. But in future videos, when we do this kind of thing, we might do week two, we might do a span of different weeks. So this is gonna handle all that. Sometimes the trends don't happen in a given week. In that case, we can't find the percentage there. So uh, we make sure that that is the case there. We're going to find out then how many times this trend hits across the multiple seasons, again, from 2015 to 2022. That's eight seasons. So how often does this happen? Sometimes this doesn't hit in a season. And you might think, well, it didn't work in 2023. This is a terrible trend. Well, no, it you have to look long term, right? Any kind of sports betting involves looking long term. If it happened in seven of the last eight seasons, that's a really good trend. That's very reliable. And then this is a little bit of a, you know, not so great code here. I'm taking that season trends here and just appending the season percentages. So that'd be our function. Now some of these arguments to that function, like the data frame, the seasons, the weeks and all that are going to be the same for each of these trends. So we're going to make those our constant functions. There is our threshold. And here is the first trend, trend number one. Week one underdogs that cover the spread. In the book, The Everything Guide to Sports Betting by Josh Applebaum, and this is the book where I really found these trends, he mentioned September underdogs. Well, of course, week one is in September, so we're just gonna focus on those. And here is the trend query string right here. Week equals one. And then Vegas spread is positive. That would be indicating an underdog. The result here that we want to see is, did this team cover the spread? 
Covering the spread means that their offensive points plus the Vegas spread are greater than the defensive points for their opponent. Now, whether the Vegas spread is positive or negative, it doesn't matter. In this case, negative means a favorite, positive means an underdog. So we add the points to the underdog score, and as long as that exceeds the point score by the opposite team, they've covered the spread. So we're gonna look at this trend. We're going to print a little heading here, and this is where we call the function. And let's go ahead and run this code. And as you see, this particular trend happened 52.76% of the time. Not very good. <laughs> and in the different seasons in week one, this trend, right? Sometimes was over that magical 52.39%. A lot of times not. In the end here, this is our seasonal trend hit percentage. It only worked three out of the eight seasons. I'm calling this a trend, but obviously this one is not a good one. So for week one, we're not going to do that one, but that's just a starting point. Here's a second trend again by Josh Applebaum here. Week one and teams that are getting at least six and a half points. That's our trend query string. And the result's going to be the same for all of these. Do they cover the spread? So again, we're going to call the function one more time here and see the results. This time we get 58.82% overall. Looks pretty good. Relatively small sample size, but pretty consistent here. This thing hit, look at the bottom, six out of the eight seasons. That's good. That's a trend that we might want to look at and potentially place a few bets on. The third trend are divisional underdogs. So in this case, the trend query string, week one, division equals one. That means the teams are in the same division and the Vegas spread is positive. That means they're an underdog. And again, do they cover the spread? Let's check this one out. 66.67%. Very nice. Uh, most of these seasons it covered. In fact, it covered in seven of the eight seasons. Now that's a trend I'm going to get behind. And I'll probably just simply bet that blindly. A lot of people say don't bet blindly into a trend. Well, why wouldn't you? Especially in a trend like this. You might want to look more closely at the teams and see how they pair up with each other. Maybe you don't want to pick, you know, a team that's going against the Kansas City Chiefs, for example. Well, that's great. You can do more and more analysis. But in my opinion, if this is a trend that is very consistent and happens over multiple seasons and it's above that threshold, I can feel pretty confident betting that blindly. Final one. This is from Chris Raybon of the Action Network. I saw on his website. Did Teams that won four to six games in week one and their underdogs cover the spread. This is also a very good trend. Hit 60% of the time since 2015. There it is. You can look at all the seasons there. And this hit in five of the eight seasons. Again, I'm looking at something that hits most of the time, right? I mean, I'd like for it to hit at least five of the eight seasons. And then in each season, it hits above that threshold. So next, now that we've created these trends, I'm going to show you a bar chart that has these trends together and the threshold is going to be a dashed line. Let's check that out. Look at how beautiful that is. Who doesn't like a nice looking chart? I am definitely a chart nerd. I think that looks great. I'm not complimenting myself. I'm complimenting the program for creating this chart. Here it is. The blue bars are all the underdogs. How many of those cover the spread in week one? A lot of them don't get up to that threshold. The dash line is that threshold. The underdogs with six and a half points, the yellow bars. Looks like it hits there where you can see the six out of the eight times. That's pretty high. I'm going to go with that one. The green bars are the divisional underdogs. They hit seven of eight times except for in the 2017 season. That's the strongest trend right there. I will blindly bet those. And then the red bars here, underdogs that won four to six games the previous season, that hits in five of the eight seasons. And if you see, like say 2017, that red bar doesn't show up. It just means that, that was 0%. I think it was zero, maybe out of two or something like that. So I'm going with the yellow 
in the green and maybe the red. Definitely the green. I hope you liked this video and got some value from it. Please consider liking and subscribing to my channel. During the NFL season on Tuesday mornings, I'll be posting videos to look back at the previous weekend and see how well we did. On Thursday mornings, I'll be posting videos to describe bets on the upcoming games. Hope to see you then. Have a good one.